Yo, welcome back to J Reacts. Hey man, you already know we're on the road to 1K, man. You know what I'm saying? So y'all yeah, know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment. We show everybody love on this channel, man. Um, so if you go through my channel, you know we have all kind of genres of music. Freestyle Fridays. We got some little bit of uh, I think they call it corridos, like you know, updated corridos. I don't know the real name. Um, then we have hip hop, everything. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, I've always wanted to react to Becky G, man, because she's a Mexican and I enjoy her music. Um, so I'm going to give you a little bit of history about her, just, you know, what I found on Wikipedia because that's where I always go to get my stuff. So um, anyway, man, so her name is Rebecca Marie Gomez. She was born March 2nd, 1997. So 97, 2007, 17, I'm not good at math. She's probably like 25. I don't know, I should tell you right here, right? She's 24. Okay, I was close. But no professionally as Becky G is an American singer and actress. Uh, she first gained recognition in 2011 when she began posting videos of herself covering popular songs online. One of her videos caught the attention of producer um, Dr. Luke, who specifically offered her a joint record deal with Kim, Kim Sobe Records and RCA Records. While working on her, deb her debut effort, Gomez collaborated with artists Well I Am, Cody Simpson, and Cher Lloyd, her official single, Becky from the Block. That's the one that, okay, so that's what we're going to react to today is Becky from the Block. And it came out in 2013. And um, the cool thing about it is, is she is a kid, dude. She was like, I don't know, like 14, 15 years old when this song came out. Maybe younger. You know, so it was 10 years ago. So she was 14 years old, dude. You know what I'm saying? So for her to be 14 years old and be that lyrically gifted to get the eyes of this certain producer that had all these big names that can he link, he could you know link her up with like that's amazing man you know what i'm saying and that's what makes her special because she started covering other people's music and she has right now man she's like on top of the world dude she has so many songs out there and she kind of i think she kind of like left her like rap roots and she kind of started getting into like other like reggaeton things i believe but um she started in hip hop you know what i mean and I, and we're always going to remember her for that, you know, not not that she's not good at what she does. I'm just saying, like, she started her core as hip-hop, you know, and I hope that she goes back to it. I don't know if she has or not, but, you know, we'll see. And it says, um, she was born in Inglewood, California, so she's from California, the daughter of Mexican parents, Alejandra Alex and Francisco Frank Gomez. All four of her grandparents are from Jalisco, Mexico, while her parents and most of her family were born in the United States. Gomez has two brothers and two sisters. Oh no, two brothers and a younger sister. And December 17th, she received, she revealed she has half sister who was 18 years old. Um, so just a little bit of history about her, you know what I'm saying, and how she became successful. And uh, I just want to give you like a little update on, not an update, but just kind of like a little bit about the artist. But um, I look forward to reacting to way more of her music because I, I think she's super, super, super talented. But I had to react to, um, you know, Becky from the Block because it was her first one that made her recognize and where she's at today, you know. And and I think that that's I think that that's dope, you know what I mean? And um, and she has millions of fans out there, man. And just just the fact that you know she's like Mexican, dude, is like it's even. And it's not racial, it's just, you know, you want to be proud of your people, you know what I'm saying? You want to be proud of your race and your nationality, and if you have somebody that's doing big things, man, just, me as a reactor, I'm going to show them love, man, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, man, without further ado, let's get it, Becky G, Becky from the block, let's get it. <laughs> think about that swag bro you know what i'm saying think about the swag she had at 14 years old you know what i'm saying like who how many 14 years old do you do you see that have that kind of swag even even to this day you know what i'm saying and kind of and can rap and can back it up they, they just a lot of people have the swag but they don't have the, the lyrical the lyrically genius genius that she has or her um her artistic views on how to become a great artist and she had that and she has it how crazy is that at 14 years old you know what i'm saying like that's 
kind of unheard of, you know what I mean? <laughs> she says, I always had a little, but I want a lot. Hey, man, her vision was amazing. Look at her now. Look at that, dude. She put her school, her elementary on a map. Look at that. That is crazy. Oh, first grade, I was Oak Street. Oak Street Elementary. Think about how famous that school is now because of her. How crazy is that? Blocks from the Inglewood Cemetery. I lived through hard times according to my memory. Then I learned to rhyme like I'm reading up the dictionary. I still walk to that Kelstone Market. Even though I get to walk them red carpets. My family Ooh, did my hey. ride. That's humble right there. She's like, I still walk to the Kelstone Market. Even though I get to walk red carpets. Like, bro, like, she's fucking, she's humble, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, even at that age, at 14 years old, knowing that she had all these connections that were about to happen in her life, bro, she still stayed humble. And I'm guessing the Kelso Market is like a little neighborhood store, just like any any neighborhood has a little neighborhood store. So that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? So she put all her little block on, on she put it on the map, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's. That's amazing. Even though I get to walk them red carpets, my family lived in my grandpa's garage. So I started working just to help out my pop. Dang, think about that, bro. Like, how much pressure is that? So she said that her parents had to live in her grandpa's garage, so she had to get out and do something to, to make money. How crazy is that? Like, how... How much pressure is that on a kid at 14 years old? Man, I was probably younger, like 10, 11. For her to be and to find her inner, I guess her inner talent, you know what I'm saying? To become a rapper and a singer, like, that, man, God works in mysterious ways, man. That's crazy. Hey. You know what brings goosebumps, man? Because she has crossed over. Like, she even said it in her lyrics. She's like, my my grandpa crossed over, and she said, in the future, I'm going to be a crossover. And she did, man. She went from hip-hop to going to, I don't know if you call it reggaeton or whatever you want to call it, but, bro, now her, view, now her videos are getting not millions of views. They're getting billions of views. Billions. From living in this house right here. I'm pretty sure that's her grandpa's house. From living in this house to getting a couple of thousand, hundred thousand views or whatever, to getting billions of views and going with the biggest artist in the world, bro, like that's the that's the power of vision, power of vision and the power of your mind of where you want to be and where you know you can be. This is a prime example and a prime you know proof that your vision, your words are powerful, man. Because if you believe it and you talk about it and you speak it on a daily basis. It's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. It all started when my grandpa crossed over. Now one day I'm gonna be a crossover. Right now it's just who is that girl? But one day I'm gonna be all around the world. Still get grounded. Always stay grounded. Hey, that was dope. She's like, I still get grounded. I always stay grounded. Hey, that's what's up. <laughs> Just who is that girl? But one day I'm gonna be all around the world. I still get grounded, always stay grounded. Still do chores even when I'm on tour. But it's for sure, I'm gonna always be me. That West Side, Becky, 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 Jane. Step to the top. I'm so, I'm so Becky from the block. Always had a little, but I wanna lie. No matter where I go, I know where I came from. I won't stop till I get to the top. I'm so, I'm so Becky from the block. Always had a little, but I wanna lie. <laughs> boy, you know that acting a fool, bro. You know how Mex Mexicans don't know how to act at parties, bro. Look at that. We got the sombrero going on. We got the homies in the bag. We got the golf cars, the little go cars, whatever. Like, 
Yeah, man, we don't know how to act, bro. She pulled up smooth too, boy. Look at that. <laughs> And what you know about that four or five drive? My life is changing quickly right before my eyes. It hits me every time that I'm on Hollywood and Vine. If you want to date me, you got to ask my daddy. I'm dirty uncles, you can meet them in the night. <laughs> Hey, how true is that, bro? She's like, if you want to date me, you got to ask my daddy and the 30 uncles in the alley. <laughs> that bitch is crazy, too, boy. That's how it is, bro, in the Mexican family. <laughs> she said one day she's going to bring her bring home a Grammy. Now, I ain't going to lie to you. I don't know if she did yet. If she hasn't, it's a miracle. But I know, I think she has probably brought a Grammy home. I'm not sure. I got to look that up. I got to look that up. I don't know. But, um, hey, man, that's dope, bro. Like, all, everything that she said in this song, everything that she, this is her very first song that made her who she is today. Everything that she, she spoke about and she said she was going to do, bro, everything came and is coming true, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's a beautiful thing to, to watch unfold, you know? Because everybody, everybody that says they do it, they, it doesn't happen. You know, so for her to actually be doing everything she says, like, one day I'ma bring home a Grammy, but no matter what, I'll be bringing home Randy donuts. So what? Oh, I'm still the same. I got that. She's like, e e um, even though that I'ma still bring, I'ma still be bringing home Randy's donuts. You remember Randy's donuts? She, she showed in the beginning. That was from um Friday, the Friday movie. That's the only reason I know about it. Um, so I guess it's a famous donut shop in I guess it's South Central LA. I don't know. But that was dope right there. She threw them in there. Hey, I'ma bring home a Grammy, but no matter what, I'll be bringing home Randy's donuts. So what? Holla when you see me. I'm still the same beat, even when I'm on TV. Stay rocking J's with my diamonds and pearls. You can take me out the hood, but not the hood out of the girl. <laughs> I love sushi, love my calamari, but ain't no better chef than my very own mommy. Ooh, you, you got that right. She's like, yeah, I like, she, I got my own very, my own very own chef, and I like calamari. But they ain't no cook like a, my very own mommy. Boy, the Mexican mamas, anybody's mom, boy, they know how to cook, boy. It ain't the same. It's not the same. I like this shit. I like this right here, too. I just seen it. It says homies. Hey, that's dope. Not the hood, but not the hood out of the girl. Yes, I love sushi, love my calamari, but ain't no better chef than my very own mommy. If you can't catch me roaming in my barrio, I'm with my litas, praying the rosario. Ooh, that's dope. <laughs> Oh, there you go, Randy's Donuts. How I on it? How? I don't know the word I'm looking for. But how awesome is that? You know what I'm saying? To, to have this, right? You're, you're a young 14 year old from South Central Inglewood, LA. You're Mexican. And you're basically right here, you putting your Mexican people on a map at 14 years old. And you're in the middle of the hood at Randy's Donuts. That's, the, that's like the hood hood. Like that's not just, that's, that's the hood. That's like the middle of the hood, right? And then 99.9% .9 of Mexicans or Latinos probably are Catholic. We were Catholic, you know, we, I, I was growing up, I can't say I'm religious, but I, I grew up Catholic, you know, so I believe in La Virgen and, you know, so, and for her to have the Virgen shirt, I just pray that she never leaves and forgets about where she came from as far as that, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that she would, but I hope to, to this day she still believes in that, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's what I would hope. I thought it was a real mariachi. Like, damn, she brought the mariachis out for real. I don't know who these people are, but. How dope is that, bro? You're 14 years old and you covered one of the most ionic artists in the world. And she picks you up at your house. She's in your video. 
how do you explain that? Like how like Jennifer Lopez just don't she just don't mess with anybody. You know what I'm saying? She's just not she's Jennifer Lopez, bro. Like she's on top of the world. Like this is at her prime. Like she's can't nobody tell you. Even to this day, we're 2022 and she's still on top. And she still don't mess with just anybody. And for her to sit there, man, and let this 14-year-old Mexican girl use her song as a cover and she was that good that she's like, you know what? She's that dope that I'm going to be on a video. I'm going to pick her up. That's fucking badass. Awesome. Yo, that was dope, man. And she's from LA, and the LA Rams just won the Super Bowl, man. How dope is that? How happy is everybody in LA right now? That's amazing. You got Snow the Product going crazy. She's from Los Angeles. You got Becky G going crazy. Then you got The Godfather. You got, you know, Dr. Dre. You got Snoop. You got everybody over there going crazy, man. Like, that's amazing. It's an amazing moment to be in LA right now. You know what I mean? But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, there'll be more Becky G on the way coming up. As always, to the next one. Peace.